Is your Windows 10 or 11 PC acting like a snail on a molasses race? Are you tired of waiting for apps to open, web pages to load, or even just for your computer to boot up? A sluggish PC isn't just annoying, it wastes your precious time and drains your productivity. But what if I told you there are simple, effective ways to breathe new life into your machine without spending a dime on upgrades? In this video, I'm going to show you five easy, step-by-step -step methods to drastically speed up your Windows 10 or 11 computer, making it feel brand new again. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button now. Don't miss out on more helpful tech tips. First up, let's tackle the biggest culprit behind slow boot times and overall system sluggishness. Too many programs launching when your computer starts. Every application you install seems to want to run in the background from the moment you turn on your PC, hogging valuable resources. To fix this, press the Windows key plus A to open the Run dialog, type msconfig and hit Enter. This opens the System Configuration window. Navigate to the Startup tab and click Open Task Manager. Here, you'll see a list of all programs set to launch with Windows. Identify the ones you don't need immediately. Things like chat applications, update utilities for non-essential software, or cloud sync services you don't use constantly. Right-click on them and select Disable. Be cautious here. If you're unsure what a program does, it's safer to leave it enabled or do a quick online search. Disabling critical system processes could lead to instability. Next, close Task Manager and go back to the Services tab in MS Config. Crucially, check the box that says Hide all Microsoft services first. This prevents you from accidentally disabling vital Windows components. Now, uncheck any third-party services that you don't need running constantly, such as update services for programs you rarely use. Again, if in doubt, leave it be or research it. Once you're done, click Apply and then OK. If prompted to restart, choose Exit without Restart for now, as we have more optimizations to do. Keeping your Windows operating system up to date is crucial for security and performance. Microsoft regularly releases updates that include bug fixes and performance enhancements. However, these updates can sometimes download and install in the background at inconvenient times, slowing down your PC. To manage this, go to your Windows search bar and type Check for Updates. Open the Check for Updates settings. Ensure all available updates are downloaded and installed. If a restart is required, perform it. Once your system is fully updated, you can gain more control over when future updates occur. Click on Advanced Options and then look for the Pause Until section. Here, you can select a specific date up to several weeks in the future to pause updates. This allows you to schedule them for a time when you're not actively using your computer, preventing those unexpected slowdowns during critical tasks. This simple trick ensures your system remains secure and optimized without interrupting your workflow. A often overlooked cause of a slow computer is malicious software, like viruses, spyware, and malware. These hidden programs can run in the background, consuming significant system resources and even stealing your personal data. That's why regularly scanning your PC is non-negotiable. First, open your primary antivirus program and perform a full system scan. Make sure it's set to scan every file and folder thoroughly. If you don't have a dedicated antivirus, consider downloading a reputable free option like Avast from avast.com. While antivirus software protects against viruses, specialized tools are often better at catching malware and spyware. I highly recommend downloading and running a scan with Malwarebytes, available at malwarebytes.com. It's excellent at finding and removing pesky programs that your regular antivirus might miss. Running both an antivirus and anti-malware scan ensures your system is clean, secure, and free from hidden performance drains. Over time, your computer accumulates a massive amount of temporary files, remnants left behind by applications, web browse, and system processes. 
These files can take up significant disk space and bog down your system's performance. Fortunately, they are generally safe to delete. To do this, press the Windows key plus R again to open the Run dialog. First, type temp and press Enter. This will open a folder with temporary files specific to your user profile. Select all the files, Cotrl plus A, and press Delete. Don't worry if some files can't be deleted. They're likely in use by active programs. Just skip them. Now, repeat the process. Press Windows key plus R, but this time type Prene 10% with the percentage signs and press Enter. This opens another folder containing system-wide temporary files. Again, select all files and delete them, skipping any that are currently in use. This quick cleanup frees up valuable disk space and can provide an immediate boost to your computer's responsiveness. Finally, let's optimize the visual flair of Windows for better performance. While Windows 10 and 11 offer sleek animations and visual effects, these can consume significant processing power, especially on older or less powerful machines. To adjust these settings, search for Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows in the Windows search bar and open it. This will bring up the Performance Options dialog box. Under the Visual Effects tab, you'll see a list of aesthetic options that Windows uses, like fading menus, smooth fonts, and shadow effects. By default, Let Windows Choose What's Best for My Computer is selected, or Adjust for Best Appearance. For maximum speed, select the radio button Adjust for Best Performance. This will disable most of the visual bells and whistles, giving priority to raw speed. If you find the appearance too bare, you can custom select a few effects you prefer, like smooth edges of screen fonts, which is usually fine for most systems. Click Apply and OK to save your changes. You'll immediately notice a snappier, more responsive user interface. If you don't have a SSD or NVMe hard drive in your computer, install one. At the same time, upgrade the RAM card. This will make a big difference in your computer. There you have it! Five simple yet powerful methods to speed up your Windows 10 or 11 PC. By regularly managing your startup programs, staying on top of updates, keeping your system free of malware, cleaning temporary files, and optimizing visual effects, you can enjoy a significantly faster and more pleasant computing experience. Try these steps out and let me know in the comments which one made the biggest difference for your PC. Don't forget to like this video and share it with anyone struggling with a slow computer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.